fella We can be that mistake Let's do this Good morrow, kind sirs and madams and everything in between Evening and good night <laughs> We are Embrace the Suck 21 Yes, we are I'm Spencer And I'm Daniel We're back at it with some cousin Carl Pilkinson Yes He is introducing yes. his diary on this one And we, I guess... We started ass backwards. Yeah, yeah. We we did the compilation of Ricky Gervais laughing <laughs> at him at first, but uh, we uh, didn't have these fancy schmancy uh, headphones at the time, so yes. it was extremely low, so he couldn't hear it. But we're gonna give you his his his, his diary intro and now. When we play this, will we see them? the The audio from this will it be loud enough for them? Yeah, yeah. We have okay. I have the settings here. Cool. <laughs> So let's get it, man. Let's awesome. get it. Awesome. Let's dive into it. And it was all, it was it was full of old people, really. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's probably why it's called Grand Canaria, right? Because it's just Grand old people. Everywhere. Yeah, right. But what I thought I'd start doing is uh, start a diary. Okay, why? Just because I, I sort of had a bit of time on my hands and that. Just thought, write it down, write write stuff down. And right? do you hope that this one day will become one of the great literary documents like Samuel Pepys' diary? Um, I haven't heard of that. Is it any good? <laughs> You've never heard of Samuel Pepys' diary? No, the, the, the most the, famous diary, uh, other than probably Anne Frank's. I've heard of Anne Frank's and that, and I thought if she's sat in a, you know, a loft, knocking stuff up, not much going on in her life at that point. Yet she was still <laughs> writing it down. Yeah, where is she on holiday? Area, yeah. I thought so. There is stuff going on that I can chat about. <laughs> I love how he said. I love how he said about. like not a lot was going on with, in Anne, Anne Frank. Frank. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a little thing called World War II going on. Not the Holocaust. The Holocaust. Oh, that's nothing. Nothing. Eh. I'm sure Carl's going to be riveting. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But this is on brand for Carl. Like, he's a lovable idiot. He just, yeah, I got it. Yeah. (laughs) Start a diary. Sure. You started a diary. Yeah. And what are you going to do? Did you keep it up every day? Yeah, just, uh... Oh, can I read it, please? Well, the diary's meant to be sort of... Can, uh, please, can I read some out on this podcast? I... Carl... Some of it, though, is only relevant to me. It's sort of... Oh, going... this is... Please, give me it. Oh, my God. I mean, this isn't... I am just... Look how big it is! <laughs> <laughs> it's oh one of those God. desk diaries. It's huge. It's about a foot long. And it's... Ma- oh, that is amazing. Imagine if Anne Frank's had been like that. As she got out... <laughs> Right, <laughs> uh, everyone would have heard it planked down on the desk. Yeah, but my writing's quite oh. big, isn't it? Oh, look, give us oh, that. Do you, know, do you know about joined up writing? Have you this heard about that? There's no point. Sometimes you can't read it, can you? So it's best right, to okay. look, oh. at, look at Oh, look, the, oh, my God. It starts on the first day. This is, this is wonderful. Going on holiday to Gran Canaria today, woke up to the news that Tony Banks had died. There was a piece of, on the news about how everyone was shocked. Got me thinking about an invention that would be good. Right, a, a watch that counted down your life. If it says you've got three days left, Let's go to the doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I told Suzanne about invention. She said she wouldn't buy one, but she said that about the iPod. How uh, and how would this device work? This watch. I mean, how would you uh, how would you know when you were about to die? Is that a concern? Again, not for you to worry about, presumably the boffins. And no, all I was thinking is that Tony Banks fell, you know, he died and everyone was shocked about it. But if you had, like, a little watch on... But how did... Well, you can't just say, wouldn't it be good? How how would this work? Yeah, um, I imagine you in the patent office going, got an idea. They go, oh, certainly, yeah, Mr. Bogan, what's your idea? Watch the counting down your life. Oh, how does that work? What? Just just, well, it, just pop it on your wrist. No, 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 what do you mean, just pop it on your wrist? <laughs> how does it work? Just pop it on your wrist. Brilliant. You're an idiot. Well, it's interesting that he goes on. The flight to Gran Canaria was a bit bumpy. I thought about the clock that counts down your life again, and I wondered if it would know if you were going to die in a disaster. <laughs> no, he's querying his own, his own design. He's wondering yeah. if he would know. He's invented this. He's invented it, and now he's not even shot. Uh, a fella on the plane was reading Koi Mag. It was a fishing magazine. I glanced over and noticed he was reading the Pond of the Month article. Don't think they could make it into a weekly magazine. Well, to be fair to you, I because re- I remember seeing a guy on the train once reading Carp Monthly, yeah. a magazine do- dedicated entirely to carp, 
and it had it had carp of the month and i just thought you know once you're like three months in the editor must be stressing if we've got any more carp <laughs> We've got a carp that's actually done anything. That's I reckon if they used the same one twice, there wouldn't be many complaints. No one would be noticing. No, that, well, that's the carp they used two years ago. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. <laughs> Who reads that? Who reads the, like, carp magazine and, like, stuff about fish? I mean, I don't, I'm sure fishermen do that. Yeah. Who reads newspapers? No one. So the same people that used to read newspapers probably have, like, nothing else to read. I guess so. I read Cart Magazine for the articles. <laughs> you also read Playboy for the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, no, they had the best articles. And they did have great writers over at Playboy. <laughs> I'm sure hope, they did. I hope they went to Cart Magazine. <laughs> I'm sure that went under. <laughs> no, that's the Cart they used two years ago. There was a really fat bloke on the plane. He was playing on his PSP. While I waited to go to the toilet, I looked at what game he was playing. It was darts. He's that fat and lazy, can't even face playing a more active game on a games console. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Suzanne got off the coach along with a couple of old people. One of them was in a wheelchair. I don't think it was wise of them to come to a volcanic island with a wheelchair. <laughs> Everywhere's pretty rough, paving and slopey. Guess I'll keep an eye on it as the weeks go on. <laughs> Day two in Gran Canaria. Brilliant. We're only at day two. The hotel's a bit odd. I've never seen as many cross-eyed people in one location. <laughs> that's, um, enough, isn't it? that's amazing. Well, you may right. well let me read on a bit more. Okay? No, this is amazing. Well, look, come back this is a brilliant now. diary. This might be the best <laughs> diary ever written. Oh. While sat listening to the kinks on my iPod, I wondered if everybody thinks in their accent. I know I do. What's, what's this? What are you talking about? Just, just that, uh, you know, when I when I've been sat there lying on the lounger, right? And I was thinking about stuff. <laughs> How do you know you think in your accent? Tell me a typical thought. Because because what I mean is, say say if I was like, if I saw something, right? Do you know how I say you're like, oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, no, but that was I being don't have said. to. But in, I, when you think, I don't think the sentence is like I'm saying it. It's just a thought. The thought appears. It's conceptual and it's already there. It's not like um, I go, Rick, hmm, just uh, looking at that fellow over there, were you? Yeah, I was, yeah. Um, I was thinking it looks a bit weird. Oh, so was I. I don't, I don't think <laughs> out whole sentences. Whereas you think. have Carl, Carl, Nick, Carl, stop listening to the kinks for a minute. Look over there. More, more cross eyed people. <laughs> no, well, that's, yeah, that's. Is that how your of... mind works? In a way, yeah. And Brilliant. that's when it, because, because <laughs> I thought... That explains a lot. <laughs> it's crazy to think of that whole sentence. Because I thought, that's weird, isn't it? Like, I didn't think, that's weird, isn't it? And I no. thought, I actually think in my accent. And then I thought, does Stephen Hawking, does he, when he's doing his maths and that, <laughs> is he, I don't know where he's from, so I don't know what his accent would be like. I think he's from uh, Kent or Cambridge or Oxford. Right, or so... So you think he might think in his... In, in his, his voice, in that, yeah. in that voice. computerised voice. <laughs> <laughs> Had lunch in sight today due to shite weather. Sat next to an old fella. Old men's ears and noses carry on growing as they get older. Suzanne noticed his fingers were fat too. Maybe they continue to grow. Suzanne didn't laugh when I said her arse had the same problem. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that, man. You don't say that. <laughs> he has no filter. He does I love not. him. Ah, oh, gotta love him. Three cloudy start to the day. Had pie and chips in a cafe. Had a bit of an argument with Suzanne because I thought it was daft that we were paying for food when we were on an all-inclusive holiday. Changed my mind when I saw the they sold pie though. <laughs> the cafe was called Tattoos. The fellow who owned it didn't have any tattoos, but we never saw his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Had a drink in a bar. Everyone sat and watched one of the local cats lick its bollocks. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest holiday in the world. I <laughs> made uh, the in that town. Went back to the hotel and had a sleep before tea. I love the fact you're like you're moaning about old people, but you're just as bad. He's done nothing so far. <laughs> he's done nothing. He's got a bit hip. <laughs> Woke up to news about ducks being badly treated. There was a really ugly one with bent legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Why does he write this down? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> there was a fat bloke from Bolton who was in the pool as I write this. 
He's got a big tattoo on his back, but I can't work out what it is. Dot, dot, dot. He just got out of the pool and burped. <laughs> just felt like you had to keep us abreast of that. <laughs> Everything's in the diary. I've just seen it get to the point where you're going, breathed in. Yeah. Breathed out again. <laughs> <laughs> fell in the sea, he kept his T-shirt on. If you're big and fat, is there more chance of you getting burnt because there's more of you on show? <laughs> I asked Suzanne and she said she didn't know in that sort of not listening kind of way. <laughs> okay, as a big guy, yes, yeah. it is possible to get more burnt because yeah. there is more of you. More surface area. There's more surface area. <laughs> I wanted to hang about to see if the fat bloke was going to get in the kayak. But Suzanne, <laughs> Suzanne said we had a head back. Just let him wait in to see if he's gonna <laughs> capsize. <laughs> we got him today, so we got up early to get the last bit of cloud. <laughs> no, it's, it's just that it wasn't. Uh, it, it's, it's not that sunny all the time. I mean, I, I was sat in in weather that if it was like that air, there's no way I'd be sat in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But because you're on holiday, it's like, well, we got to sit in it. Put your coat on. <laughs> so, are you gonna continue to write this diary? Every yeah, single it's day. It's amazing. Keep this diary up. It's no, amazing. I, I, no, I will. I will keep it up because what I find as well is, I think earlier on before I went away, I think I did learn something, and because I wrote it down, I, I remembered it a bit um, better. So. What was that? I just was thinking then. I forgot it now, but <laughs> <laughs> but I remembered looking back at it and not having to read it all because I remembered the end of it before I read it. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Oh, you gotta love Carl, man. You gotta love Carl. He's just, he's just a different. He's just. He's just a different breed, man. He's a different kind of guy. <laughs> I'm yeah. giving it two thumbs up. Yeah, How about dude. that? Oh man, his take on things is just so fresh and like di different. Yeah, you know how some people's problems are they they think too much. Mm -hmm. well, he doesn't think at all. Right. <laughs> he just is. He just blurts it out. I, no, I love that. I yeah. love that, man. Uh, and like, that, yeah. What was I going to say? Like, I think that's a good life hack for people, uh, the up and coming generation. If you have things that you want to say, actually write them down in a, in a journal or a diary yeah. as, as opposed to, uh, uh, tweeting it or, or, uh, like discreetly filming it for a TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That way you don't get caught and you can put this diary somewhere else. And uh um if if you want to film something about it, I like just... make your own art about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's your life hack right there. Yeah. Carl Pilkin just laid it all in your in your uh I bet in your lap. I mean I bet I bet Carl has like the best sleep ever. <laughs> because it's, it's just empty. It's just empty. He, there's like, you can tell he's like not stressed, or if he's stressed about it, he forgets, or he stresses about something random. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, man. I <sighs> I want to drink with this guy. I yeah. want to drink with oh, yeah. Carl and Steven and Ricky Gervais. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a great ass night. <laughs> that would be funny. And, and like, just going from pub to pub to pub. Oh, yeah. Like, Carl would have something to say about each and every one each, of them. Each, every one, and everyone in it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Man. Let us know more, Carl, to check out. Obviously, we're on the Idiot yeah. Abroad train right now. And we'll, we'll get those more and more frequent as yeah. time allows. Yeah. The best thing you can do in the comment section is type out the title of the video. That way, I can put it in the search engine, put it in the watch later, and there will be a better chance we'll watch it. Yeah, don't put links, guys. Uh, yeah, those get blocked. Those get blocked or deleted, and you know we've said it multiple times. We don't want you to think that we're deleting comments. We don't do that. We don't. We don't have time for that. Exactly. Yep. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, Definitely. hitting that bell, yes, and sharing yes. with your friends. Share with your friends. Until next time, wash your hands, scrape your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, and embrace the suck. See y'all next time. Later. Oh.